everybody. I'm Judy. And I'm Jim. And welcome to It's a Highway Vlog, where you get to travel the country with us, but please, please follow all safety procedures. And don't forget to wear your safety vest. Or you might just miss something, and that would be bad. Danger! 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 We'll tell you a little bit more about that coming up right after this. Yeah. Hey, good afternoon. I know it's a shock. Here we are again. What else do we have to do, right? Right. Uh, we have been setting over the Labor Day weekend, part of it at least. Mm -hmm. uh, we are actually in Kansas at the moment. We have a load that picks up tomorrow and goes east. And then after that, where are we going? We have to head home again. <laughs> we have to go home. Yeah, we have to go home for some appointments. I have something on Friday and we have something on Tuesday. And then after that, we're planning on coming out and running until the middle of December or first part of December and we're going on vacation. Yay. And hopefully we're driving and not running, right? I would, yeah, it's probably better uh, that we drive, definitely, <laughs> than running. I don't think but, I could handle running. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we just been sitting in a truck stop this weekend, uh, preparing some food for the week, doing some nothing really, that's it. <laughs> hey, we've been walking. We, we got go some walking. walking out, and we got some nice pictures of some sunflowers and all that fun stuff. Yeah, we, but the museum back here is closed. Yeah, there's, there's a. We're actually in Salina, Kansas, at the Petro right now, and there is a really neat museum behind us that we've went to. It's all old farm machinery, and it's like a museum of farming. It's pretty neat. Uh, if you like to walk around and watch, look at old pieces of rusted machinery, it's great, <laughs> uh, which I do. So it's great for me. And I think you like it too. Yeah. Well, it brings back family memories. You right. know, of, uh, I come from a farming family, so, you know, it's, right. it interests me. Yeah. Anyway. So we've been doing that. It's funny, um, earlier in the year, we were extremely busy. Like we didn't have time to get out and walk. Uh, that was just crazy. And uh, so we're not actually that busy at the moment which is a good thing or a bad thing um so we actually have time to get out and do a little walking which we've actually started doing again because we like to walk um and it gets you out away from people because you know i'm antisocial and uh <laughs> we just like to get out and and walk and get some exercise and work on a few of the pounds i put back on that i need to get off um uh, and yeah, so it's been sort of a fun, relaxed kind of weekend. And, yeah. you know, we just, uh, but um, I was going to talk about the kind of our loads in the past couple of weeks. We haven't had a whole lot, but that it was mainly because we, we were kind of trying to figure out how to get back home. Right. And we're still adjusting to that part with this carrier. You know, what we know there are loads there, but sometimes we get impatient. I know we've talked about that before. It doesn't matter what carrier you're with, you get yeah. impatient. And it's just like, oh, if we would have just waited a little bit longer, we could have got one, you know, yeah. that uh, was was headed there. But, but it's okay. We'll, we'll do better. <laughs> learn. You live and you learn, right? right? But to get to our other topic, we did spend last, was it last week? We went to the CAPS class, which I think we already talked about, which was... Uh, about business and safety, right. um, which reminded us, or reminded me, and another thing that reminded me that <laughs> it would be nice to talk about safety in general on our vlog. Yeah. Um, should, should we tell them the story? <laughs> the other thing? The story that brought up that we should probably be doing safety is, well, you want to tell it? Well, after 10 years of walking across truck stop parking lots, which are probably one of the most dangerous places <laughs> on earth, um, <laughs> we were actually at home yeah, uh, at the walk, loves at home. walking across the parking lot at the loves there in uh at home and judy was just walking along and she literally was walking right into a truck well as, not into the truck but you would have he would have backed into me yeah if she was walking there's a there was a guy that was backing in and for some reason or another i saw him and judy just didn't and i had to yell at her and well, said let's preface that with the fact that there was another truck that was coming this way as the truck was backing in well this truck right here is what i was watching <laughs> and and did, i thought he was letting us walk across so i didn't see the other truck coming behind us or coming the other direction so he was sitting there say, for a reason other than just us he was sitting there because there was a truck back needless in. to say i had to save the day yeah <laughs> 
He saved my life, folks. He late saved my life. Well, it wasn't that close, but it was. Just, it's just a reminder that we get complacent about walking across the parking lots because, you know, nine times out of ten, there's trucks. But you know, you can walk from here up to the to the store to go to the bathroom or whatever, and you may not even cross paths with a truck. And then it's that tenth time there'll be somebody pull through the truck stop. Either they're speeding or they're not paying attention. And, uh, you know, and there's, it's, it's a dangerous spot. I mean, and in some places we go, there is truck traffic like crazy. Oh, it's just like, how can we walk around all this? Because it, it, it is, and it's just one right after the other. Most drivers are aware of what is happening in the parking lot. I mean, you know, they are trying to be careful as much as they can. You just get some people who, who miss you just as much as I miss that truck. Somebody may have not seen you. Maybe it's the clothing you were wearing or they were looking past you or, you know, so you just have to be really careful. And I know, um, one of the things that I'm, I try really hard in that truck stop to do is to make sure I have eye contact with the driver. If I'm walking across the parking lot, um, or walking across the fuel aisle, that can be one of the most dangerous places too. Um, just, to, to make sure that you're walking far enough out in front of the truck so, so that can they can see, see you. Because if you're right up next to the truck, they can't see you. Yeah, if you walk past some of the older conventional style trucks, like the big Kenworths and the Peterbilts, their hoods are actually up above your head. They can't see you walking in front of them. And sometimes, you know, guys hop in their truck and they take off. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, or they just go to pull their truck up and there's been people killed that have walked out in front of those trucks. So we always try to stay out at least 10 to 15 feet out in front of the trucks. You know, just don't walk past the hoods, but walk out in front and just try to make eye contact with the drivers. You know, if you see them in the front seat as you're walking across, because if, you know, if they see you, chances are they're not going to try to run you over. (laughs) Although that's questionable at times. Um, We think sometimes some of these people actually try to do that. Oh, whatever. (laughs) Uh, anyway, um, we, uh, just be safe, you know, and and try to be aware of your surroundings. You know, we've been out here for 10 years and there are times when we just get, it's, it's everyday life for us, you know? Uh, so I don't know. It's, it's just one thing. Uh, the other thing with, with safety in a, in a truck stop is, you know, at night, sometimes like we ran into this last week, it was well after dark. And we were parked at a Love's and the lights didn't come on. And it was pitch black because yeah. we were sort of out in the country at that Love's. And it was probably a good hour after dark and all of a sudden the lights came on. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, if you've got dark clothing on, um, then, you know, people can't see you. Even yeah. Wear sometimes... like other clothing or put a vest on, you right. know, a, a safety vest on. Safety so vest. That was you. one of the recommendations we actually got from our class last week was to even wear a safety vest at all times and you know truthfully we've never really done that um so we need to maybe start doing that just so you can be seen um the place we picked up the other day down in texas it was the way we were parked and everything while they were loading the truck it was sort of tight quarters around the side of the truck and there was guys driving around in fork trucks Mm -hmm. uh, and you know they could have easily not seen us and uh you know you don't want to get a to do that so i guess the the main takeaway is just pay attention and make sure you know it's the same thing if i can't if you can't see them then they might not be able to see you right right and uh, And we were going to segue that into you know even if you're in a you know walmart parking lot or you know any other type of of parking situation even in you four wheelers out there you know um i i had a friend of mine who who posted about she had just parked beside someone that it looked kind of sketchy and she went ahead and did it anyway. Um, thankfully she, it was, everything was okay, but she was actually, um, someone had actually come up and talked to her and said, you know, Hey, could you use my, could I use your keys to get into my van? It's locked. And it's just like, <laughs> she said, way. you know, I, I'll call the police and, and have them help you. And she probably went right into her car and got into her car. Um, she knew, you know, that, that it just looked different, but we all like, well, we don't want to judge, judge things like that, but it's just to be aware of your surroundings and to keep safe. And, uh, 
you know, and that's the same thing with even parking our truck and parking your car, you know, just as much as possible, try to just be aware of your surroundings and if at all possible, you know, just, just make sure that now, one of the there things, are people around. <laughs> one of the things we see quite a bit is um, sometimes guys, when they come in off the road and they're going to get fuel, they're in a hurry. And I'm, you'll just, you'll see that people are just in a hurry. And the one thing that we have seen and noticed is a lot of times, you know, a guy will put his, that's going to park, will put his four ways on and he'll pull the truck up and start the back end. And I don't know how many times I've seen where a guy will actually back, will come right through where he's backing in order to get around him to get to the fuel island. And I mean, I've seen guys have to slam on their brakes and everything else because if they would have just kept backing up, you know, they would have ran right into the guy right. or the guy would have right. ran into them. Cause I, I don't know if it's just the mentality that they get off the road and I have to get fueled. I'm just so concentrating on that, that they just block out everything or they're just jerks. I think it's probably about a 50%, you know, either which way, but, you <laughs> well, know. Well, I have said, and, and this goes for 10 years on, on through, that truck driving has to, you have to have the most patience of any yeah. career out there. And, and it is patience of standing in line, patience of waiting for tractor and trailers to back up, <laughs> and straight trucks, I mean, any truck, yeah. actually. Right. And sometimes people, and it, it is because we're, you know, a lot of drivers are on the clock. I mean, they 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 want to be able to make it to their next destination and they have to be there by a certain time. And like Jim said, some of them, it, it's just the way they drive. They're aggressive drivers right. to begin with. Right. And, um, you know, just if you're out there, try to be a defensive person, not an offensive person. Right. Either whether it's in the truck or... Or, or in uh, the car or walking through the parking lot yeah <laughs> yeah don't be an aggressive person being through the walking through the parking be lot. defensive <laughs> not aggressive judy's a very aggressive walker uh <laughs> she'll run right over you oh. well you know and i don't know you guys all can comment on this but I grew up in the country and there was no such thing as sidewalks and crosswalks. <laughs> we didn't have them. So it was just like, all right, you know, you just look both ways and, you know, just made sure you could cross through traffic. And, and that's where the parking lot part comes in too. It's just, you know, there are no lines for walkers. You just go right. and um, just be able to try to, your peripheral vision is really important. <laughs> Those big trucks coming on the what's, side. What's the thing? You got to have your head on a swivel or whatever, yeah. just watching and paying attention, sort of like <laughs> you do when you drive down the highway. It's, yeah, if you don't pay attention, it's, you'll usually get in trouble. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And that goes for, and I hate to say this, but I have seen drivers walking across the parking lot with on their phones. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I don't want to get on my high horse, but that's very dangerous. <laughs> I mean, I, as a driver, try to pay attention to people who are coming across the lot. But if you're on your phone, you know, and, and there are some people, and I, don't get me wrong, there are some people who, who can do both and pay very good attention to what's going on around them. But then there are people who can't, and I don't want to run those people over. So right. please stay off your phones. Whether she was in the truck or walking. Yes. <laughs> and where exactly do we keep this high horse at? I mean, do we have a place in the back? Yeah. That we just keep a high horse. Yep, get on my high horse. <laughs> well, there I, was another word yesterday. What? Oh, never mind. It was off of a TV show we were watching, and I said I never heard of that word, and you were just like I heard of it. I think we're done here. Yep. <laughs> anyway, if you want to comment about what you do to keep safe in the parking lots, no matter if you're four wheeler or if you're a truck driver or wherever you are, rest areas too. Forgot about those sidewalks you know hit a comment but <laughs> yeah hopefully we won't see too many trucks on the sidewalk <laughs> hey trust me it happens. Seen it happens i always tease the teenagers up oh, if you're getting your license get off the sidewalks everybody <laughs> but with that in mind i think we'll end this one right here it's a good time to end it so yes. um if you have any other topics you'd like for us to chat about you know please post them. We may or may not know anything about it, but we'll try. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure for the two people that are still watching the video, we will eventually get outside the sleeper of the truck yes. and actually do some actual real life stuff. Maybe we'll move three foot forward up to the front, know, of, the front of the truck. Yeah, to the cab, maybe. We'll I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. 
Uh, but anyway, I guess this will be it, and we'll yep. see you next time. We probably will not have another video until we come back out. Uh, like I said, we're going to be home probably Thursday night or Friday, and then we'll be back out next week, probably Wednesday. Oh, and go Bucks! They go play Bucks. Saturday. Yes, yes. They do. <laughs> and we'll be for those upper people who are listening or home to people who are listening. We'll be at the Boxcar Tavern with All the food trailer on Saturday, and we'll be at um, Market. Oh, I forget, Dawn. I'm sorry what the name of the the boutique is in Cary on Friday. So there you go. For the three people that have stuck with us. Thank <laughs> the you very much. The one person who's paying attention. All anyway. Right. So we'll long, everybody. Good night. <laughs>